Ah, sun. Our migration to the south for the winter went flawlessly. You're probably confused about where we are, or even how the hell did we make it down here so fast. Let's rewind a bit and explain. As you know, in Fairhaven, Massachusetts, it started to snow, and blow, and rain, and snow some more. And on top of that, remember those engine problems? Not having a reliable engine was having a detrimental effect on our trip south. The window of opportunity seemed to be closing. So, it was time for Plan B. To put it simply, we made the decision to prepare Uma for another type of delivery. Instead of traveling south on the water, as you would expect a sailboat to do, we put her on the truck and ship her down to Florida. And as for us, we took a 20-hour bus ride. And two days later, there she was, safely delivered to Riverside Marina in Fort Pierce, Florida. We were finally in a warm, much more comfortable climate, away from the cold and the snow, where we were able to work on her in something other than a winter coat. Yeah, we didn't have a ladder, so... We installed ourselves, got some rest, and the next day got down to business. Getting rid of the horrible table in the middle of the salon was not the biggest job on the list. But it was something we just wanted to take care of right away. We figured that removing it would reveal much more space and allow us to move around a little more comfortably. We also decided to dispose of the veneer flooring because a lot of it was already rotten and it was a matter of time before all of it went bad. I'm glad we removed it because, to our surprise, thousands of tiny little no see them bugs were living inside the wood and started to fly everywhere. We cleaned the whole place up again and agreed to stay with the fiberglass as it is, at least for now. A few weeks passed and it was already December. And like every year, I went home to spend Christmas with my family in Haiti. And of course, then was more than happy to come along with me. A new opportunity for us presented itself. We took the advantage of our trip to work on a project overseeing the construction for the Haitian Customs Warehouse. They always say, if you can drive in Haiti, you can drive anywhere. This was our commute. Finally, we made it to work. And that is how we found ourselves adding to our life experiences. My usual two-week vacation for Christmas became three months of hard work. It was hot, tiring, dusty, and challenging. But working with local builders and learning many of the construction methods for Haiti was very much worth experiencing. Meanwhile, 
We had plenty of time to think about all of our options concerning Uma and her current situation. How to repair or replace her engine was the biggest question. And yet, when we stepped away from the obvious, we started to explore other options. With a diesel engine, we could always be tied to land, needing to refuel. So what if we could generate our own electricity? We mentioned before that we want to eventually live with energy coming only from the sun, wind, and water. So instead of fixing our diesel, we can start by installing an electrical motor. By applying that self-sufficiency philosophy, we would not only be improving our own situation, but we would be learning skills that we can use in order to help others around the world. And just like that, we now found a new commitment. But those three months were not just strictly business trip. There is a slogan to describe Haiti. Vive la différence. It's our way of saying we are different. And a traditional Haitian carnival is the time of the year that can best describe the slogan. For the first time, Ben had a chance to be a part of the celebration with me. We also took the advantage of this long stay to spend more time with the family and friends. And as always, we had a blast. <laughs> 